Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a title like this one. So let's get started. First I'm going to create a new composition and then I'm going to create a solid which we're going to use as the background. It's going to be white and now the next step is to create a new shape layer. We're going to add a rectangle and we're going to change the size. We're going to set it to 350 by 500 and this way we're not going to get a square. And then let's add a stroke. So first let's change the color of the stroke. I'm going to use this light blue and then let's change the stroke width. We need to set it to maybe 65. Okay. And then let's search for an effect which is called linear wipe. We're going to apply it to the shape layer and then we're going to set the transition completion to 50. And as you can see right now, only the right part of the rectangle is visible. So let's rename this to right. And then let's select this layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. We're going to rename this to left and we're going to set the wipe angle to minus 90 degrees. So right now we have the right part and the left part of the rectangle. We're going to set the right part on top and now let's select the type tool and let's type in some text. So let's align the text to the center of the composition and then let's place this layer um, underneath the right part of the rectangle and as you can see we already get a 2.5D effect with a 2D rectangle. The next step would be to change the opacity of this layer so let's press T that will show the opacity and let's set it to 90% then let's select the left part and let's set the opacity to 80% and right now we have a really interesting look. So let's move on to animating this. We're going to create a new null object and we're going to parent both the right side and the left side to the null. And then let's press S and let's hit the stopwatch to create a scale keyframe. So at the first keyframe we're going to set the size to 125 and then let's press shift and page down to move 10 frames forwards and let's set the size to 100. So this will scale down and then let's animate the text. So let's select the text layer and let's press P to show the position property. Let's hit the stopwatch and at the first keyframe we want the text to be all the way out here and then let's press shift and page down one, two times to move 20 frames forwards and now let's move the text all the way to the left until it's completely visible. So right now if I play this, this is what we made. So let's select the first set of keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them. Now let's open the graph editor, make sure that you're editing the speed graph and let's change the look of this graph. Let's make the animation look like this, okay. And then let's do the same thing with the second set of keyframe. I'm going to easy ease them and then I'm going to open the graph editor. But right now we're going to make the animation really fast at the beginning and then it will gradually slow down. So this is what we have so far. And the final step is to create a shape layer which we're going to use as the mat for the text. So let's select the rectangle tool and then let's draw a rectangle just like this. Now let's set this on top of the text layer and let's set the track map of the text layer to alpha mat. If you don't see this then just click on toggle switches and modes. And right now if I play this you can see that we're done. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.